Hey guys, in this one, I want to show you guys the software that I've been using to create my videos for YouTube and for elsewhere. And I get a lot of emails and also messages on my YouTube channel of people asking what type of software that I've been using to create my videos and also intros, outros, and different animation that be taking place within the videos. I'm going to show you guys um, a demo of the software that I've been using to create these awesome videos for myself and also for other clients as well. The name of this software is called Explain Deal Video Creator, and this is the Pro number two. This one just released a thing a day or so ago, and um, so I just upgrade mine from the other one to this one here. So I'm gonna show you guys how the functionality of this one. So with no further ado, we're gonna go ahead. You go to Open Project. It's quite easy of interface to be honest. And um, you have Create Project. You have Save, Save As. You got a Preview. You can add your own audio. You can add voiceovers. After you finish creating your videos, you go ahead and just create videos where you render your video. You can also import other slides and graphics and imagery into Explain to you as well. And also, if you're not happy with that, you can go ahead and get yourself other footage as well from their archives. You can log out, you can register, you can go to the support desk, which is quite awesome, to be honest with you. You can go to the marketplace to get other slide packages to complement your software as well. And also, the last one type is for your account. So what we're going to do, we're going to add create because um, as you can see, this bar here, these two bars haven't lit up. So given me that we haven't added nothing. So we're going to go ahead and create a project. So for this demonstration, I'll go ahead and use um, the title for this video, which is how to create simple animation videos. Create. Now do you have access to these bars now. So we're going to head and create. Hit plus sign. We're gonna have, we've got two options. We can create a new scene or we can add scene from personal library. In this case, I'll go from the create new scene. And at the bottom, we have a um, few more tabs. You have animation and slides, or you could add video, or you can add your bitmap image. You can go ahead and sketch your image. You can add text. You can then you close the canvas after you add all your contents. So in this purpose, I'm gonna go ahead and add a slide. So I'll go for the doctor. So let's use this slide for instance, because all of these slides also comes with the software. So you got a good handful amount for you to do a lot of damage with what it comes with. So if you can see in there, you got loads of it that comes with this as well. So you don't have to worry about not much for now, to be honest with you, because it got loads to start you off should you use this software. So I gotta go with the doctor scene here. We have this canvas area where you're gonna see all of the work or your creation taking place. So we're gonna go and add this scene here. We have the ability to resize this slide. So we're gonna close it so we can shift to and create, keep its own proportion. So let's say I put it here. You can put it in the center, you can put it into the whole, you can fully whole scene, it's up to you. So I just wanna leave it as it is because I'll just show you can readjust it for different purposes as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this scene and they're gonna play the scene you can see. Meet Stephen, he's a doctor. So let's, for example, you wanna edit this text here and put your own text. So you're gonna go over to, you got these bars, you're gonna you have action after, you have action before, you got slides, you got SWV, you got scene. So we're gonna go, you're gonna go to slide, you're gonna have customized animation. So here you can say, I could say meet, Meet Marlon. I can say hey, he's a YouTuber. You know, just be creative. So I can go ahead and just resize the fit. So I could go much bigger because since the other text is more, and you can go ahead and change the font as well. So I'll just go ahead and change it straight away. So we can increase that now to a bigger size. Or we can go to Let's say I can put it like that. So you can go ahead and you can change the font for these as well. I can change the other font as well, make it maybe the same. I keep the coolness going and I can go ahead and change the other one as well and just keep everything going in the smooth path as well where your text are concerned. I could, okay, that's gonna remain to the same size. Okay, so play it and we can see what's going on. Right, 
you can do other things also with this slide as well. You can go for the background. You can add an image. If you don't want to have the plain white green, sorry, green background, you can add something. So for instance, in this case, I can browse. You can go to the gallery as well to see if there's any image or the background, which we haven't got any image so far. So we can just say cancel here for a second. And then you can go browse your own library and you can choose any image that you like to put for the background. So in this case, let's say I choose that one from my own library. And there you go. So let me see how it looks now. It's not looking bad. So what we can do, we can, can you see we have green on both sides. We can go on, so we can go ahead and clean that up nicely by increasing the size of this image. And then we're gonna drag it to the other side as well. And there you go. So it fits nicely like that. So you got a beautiful background. So you can put whatever you want to put at the back as well. And you also could rise up a little bit as well. So if you want to have it to go up a bit, to go up, you can see those silhouettes of these people down here as well celebrating. So let's let's play and see what it will look like. Yeah, so you got that beautiful scenery taking place. And um, that's just for the that's just for the explainer side. So we can go ahead and add also other scene. So we can go ahead and add catch scene. So we can go create and we can just go add um, add sketch image. So we can go add sketch image. So what we got here, we've got we got a bit of things here, not a lot, a lot, but we can pretty much work with something. Uh, we haven't got much to be honest. Okay, let's add this fish for instance. And we can do a lot with them um, within this area where you can have this little fish doing a lot of stuff here as well. So we can add a um, bit of animation going on with this fish as well in a wide area so we can have the fish maybe coming in. Okay, we can drag this one from here and then have this one coming here. So we can change the frame so 24 frame equal one second so you can have it as 12 for that one so i'm going to do something creative hope and pray it works and i'm going to add another frame so i'm going to take this fish and put him here and probably can groom a little bigger so close him maybe another 12 second here as well and i'm going to add um, another fish somewhere here And um, I can have them stay there for a while. Then I'm gonna add another one. So I'm gonna add this one on top of this one here for a second. And then I'm gonna add another one, which is we can flip this fish. So we'll flip this fish around so this fish doing a nice little U turn. And we can add another, so it can do it for a while for about 12 frame again. And that's just me just experimenting here. So I may not get it right, so bear with me. And um, get this other one, so we can put him here. And um, do another one as well, so there for 12 seconds. And add another one as well. And that's where he's leaving. And I do another one where he's literally leaving the whole canvas as well. So let's see where this guy's a little, a little thin. So let's see exactly what our creation looks like with this little one. Right, so we can see not bad, it could be better, but you know, this is the first time using this one because I've I use, been using the old one before. So it's not bad. So by the time you play around and get it used to, because like I say, you get into the, the grip of things, you know, so. Yeah, so like I said, this got loads of potential. You can bring in other things inside here as well. You can go ahead and add another scene as well. Like I said, loads of stuff can happen with this one. You can create uh, an image, so I think of an image. So let's go into my image slide here. So we can take the 
plus size. Let's go use this plus size lady for instance. Let's use her for instance. You can see. So this will happen now. This is going to create. Um, so let's add this one. And we're going to keep the proportion. And let's say pretty much like that. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to close the canvas and then we're going to sketch that one. And a good thing with this, you can change like the, the action. So you can change the hands and everything like that as well before action. So you go ahead, change your hand for sketching. You can keep leave a sketching so you can change to whatever hand you need. You can change just using the hand or you can use another hand, um, you know, in an artistic form. So you can, if you're depending if you're left hand or right hand or dependent and um, you can paint it as well like that. And you can reduce also the speed at which it's been painted so it can look normal. Or it can go look more fast as well. So it's up to you how you want to take it. Yeah, so more realistically, we could leave it at maybe said 150. And let's go 160 for now and see what happens. So we can just close this one up. And going through all the details. So let's preview and see what happens with this one now. So we got that one. Then this is the whiteboard with the fish, you know, coming in. Stay there for a second. Let's go off like that. Right. So like I said, this software have the capability to do pretty much any and everything that you want underneath the sun. So you can go ahead, you got any music, you can go, you add a bit of, and so I'm going to add the music to this. Okay, and there you have it. And then if you want to, with the music as well, you can add your voiceover at the same time. If you want to have add voiceover to your project. And like I say, you can fade in and fade out as well. So add it to two seconds for the, uh, for the fade out at the end and also the beginning of the song or the music. You can go ahead and you just can click your create. And you can choose where to add the video after you finish creating it or for it to render on your, on your PC or whatever laptop you use. So like I said, this software can also use in both PC and Mac as well, so you don't have to worry about that. And this is the render size, and you can add it into full HD, 1280 to 720 HD, and you can go higher, but you don't have to. You can just keep it right there, perfect, false as well, and then you add your own watermark if you should want to add that as well. And then just go ahead and hit start export but let's put the music back to do that so this is where I'm going to put this one here and it will take a few seconds to or a minute or so to get this done because it add, whenever you add like music or video it takes a bit longer so let's give this a few seconds and it should give you the whole thing So now it's completed, so we can go ahead and trace where our creation is and see the quality. Okay, so there are guys girls this is a software that like i said i've been using so you can go ahead i will leave the link to this video software in the description below 
So if you like the, the potential or the creativeness of this software, you can go ahead and grab a copy of yours right now. It's on good sales right now before it go up so you can grab it. So I'll leave the link in the description below. So, you know, feel free to go and check it out for yourself. And like I say, invest in it and you can sort of make simple animation videos for both your business, for your, your projects and whatever you can do for your clients and everything like that. So this is the How to Channel. This is Marlon. And thank you very much for checking it out. And so thank you very much and have a blessed day.